what is up guys good afternoon oh jesus good afternoon i hope you are all doing well today we have got an amazing day today it is absolutely sweltering today it's about 14 degrees i know if you're from somewhere else 14 degrees might not be enough but in the uk that is a lot so allow me uh, so today we are going to be putting on the front splitter and the side skirts for the r8 and i have had the splitter and the side skirts for a while now but the weather's not been very cooperative it's been freezing or either raining uh, but today is the day so here they are this is the maxton uh, front splitter for the gen 1 audi r8 and i've also got a side skirts from ebay well the tiny the more of a mini skirt what it just goes on the side it's more of like a side spot i did get that side skirts from ebay for about 14 pounds i could not find a design that i like except for that the cheap 14 15 pounds side skirts i did have to get it repainted though because the color wasn't quite right and the repaint cost about 100 pounds 140 pounds <laughs> so yeah that is sort of matching the the Maxton splitters now. So that is the side skirts. I did go ahead and sort of measure where it would go on when it's on the car. And obviously the front splitter as you already know. So I have my Gorilla double-sided mounting tape, which can hold up to 12 kilograms weight per 30 centimeters 12 kilograms you know that is pretty heavy i can't even lift 12 kilograms that's quite a strong ass tape we've also got a hex head self-tapping screws maybe that we bought from b and q i'm gonna have to do everything manually but i will pre-drill some of the holes with the drill just to make it a little bit easier they did provide a bolt and a washer but that would mean we would have to take the bumper off and I'm not all about that life. Nice. I think that should be fine. Now that we've pre-drilled the holes, I'm just gonna stick a double-sided tape on it. I have stuck the double-sided tape on enough so they are not visible uh, from the side. And uh, yeah, so I'm. I think we are about ready to take the the back of the double-sided tape, stick it on, and then start screwing. So I'm going to ditch the hex head screw, self-tapping screw, it was taking too long so I'm going to ditch it and I'm just going to go with a normal self-tapping screws. That was the first thing that we needed to do is to remove this rubber sort of splitter or cover so that the Maxton splitter can fit. So that's done. Now we're just going to test fit the new splitter. There's two screws underneath here, one here and one here, but the screws in here are missing. However, I have found replacement bolts that I had. So I'm just going to use that one for there, one for there, one down, and also those two right there. So 
So I've taken the film off, we're just going to put the double sided tape on and then start screwing. Bruh. So that is now all Gorilla glued up. Just do a quick test run before we do take the backs off and then uh, we should be good. So that is all lined up and stuck on with the double sided tape. I'm literally just screwing everything on now and we should be good. Whew. Finally done. I hope I haven't drilled through the uh, radiator. But yeah, oh my gosh, we're about to take off the film. Yes, sir. So guys, fast forward to a few days later, I actually went to GC Motors back in Harrogate to swap out the wheels from the 20 inches aftermarket wheels to the 19 inch stock wheels. I was still having a lot of the juddering issue of 60 to 70 miles per hour, the steering wheel was just juddering a lot. So we went and swapped the wheels out to the stock wheels and they also just refunded me because the aftermarket wheels cost a little bit more than the stock wheels. It actually did make a massive improvement on the drive it's not even juddering anymore it's a lot more comfortable now as well the ride is a lot less stiffer the handling is much much better i did actually put on some spaces they're a lot smaller than the spaces that the car had uh, the car had 20 mil spaces before the aftermarket wheels must have sat really really far in anyway so the stock wheels still sat quite a little bit in the wheel arch so i just used uh, 10 mil spaces at the front and 12.5 mil spaces at the back and they look so much better other than that that does conclude our video for today i hope you have enjoyed this video and if you haven't already subscribed please click that subscribe button and drop a like uh, drop a comment uh, let me know what you think of the splitter and the wheels um, i do have a few more things uh, to change with the card so keep an eye out for that that will be coming in the next few videos soon but yeah i hope you have enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching i shall see you on the next one